So zooming in on this first strategic option, um, Arc Assurance as a company wants to, to move into the digital future, and I will uh, show some of these, uh, these ideas later on. But strategy modeling is, is the way to, to express that in Archimate, using these concepts to really drill down from the drivers of the organization to the outcomes you want to achieve, define the courses of action that you need to, to follow to really get there, to really achieve these outcomes, uh, determine which capabilities are then employed uh, that deliver the outcomes, and then analyze the resources required by these capabilities. How are you going to realize them? So that's drilling down from where you want to go and what you then uh, have to do for that. After that, you will, of course, go into more detail and develop the detailed, more detailed architectures that support these capabilities and resources, but that's no longer the strategic level. So looking at Arc Assurance as a company, they're, uh, well, they, like many other insurance companies, they have to deal with very challenging circumstances and they get hit from two different sides. The currently very low interest rates make it uh, quite difficult to uh, fulfill their financial obligations, especially life insurance companies have often promised all kinds of returns to their customers. But nowadays it's very difficult to make these returns. Uh, and the basic business model of an insurance company is user e insurance premiums from customers to, uh, well, to gain uh, a, a nice uh, rate of return and then use that again to, uh, to pay out these, these claims. But that's very difficult nowadays. And then there's the digital disruption from all kinds of fintech companies that really threatens the business models of these uh, large income insurance companies. They really nibble away at the edges of the company. So person sees this and wants to react on that. And what they've uh, uh, created is this model of their strategic analysis. Of course, this is simplified. Uh, this is just an example. But they, their main driver is, of course, profitability. And they see that uh, customers are increasingly uh, defecting to, to these digitally savvy competitors, the, these modern insurance companies that do everything on the web. And they also see that some competitors are a lot cheaper and they take market share because the, well, their premium is not really competitive. So we see these blue concepts that are already in the language, and then we see outcome as a new concept that's added to Archimate, uh, and that's the result of having competitive premium setting and improved, improved customer satisfaction. And you see that the symbol is really like a goal with the dart stuck in the bullseye. Uh, so it's, it's related to the goal concept. The goal is what you want to achieve. The uh, outcome is what you get. So that's this. this idea of Arc Assurance is it's digital customer intimacy strategy sounds really fancy. Um, it's a two-pronged approach. On the one hand, they want to engage with their clients more intimately using social media. Uh, well, every company nowadays is doing that. But the other part is perhaps more interesting. They want to use all kinds of external data to influence the insurance premium of their customers and make that a more competitive offer. So if you know more about the behavior of your customers, you can more closely uh, tailor this insurance premium to that customer. And that can range from, say, fitness trackers or black boxes in, in cars or home automation gateways in the business-to-consumer market. And in the business-to-business -business market, you have things like fleet management if you insure uh, cars or energy networks where you can look at energy consumption and uh, other things. Uh, RFID devices in stores, smart building sensors. There's a lot out there. The Internet of Things is really upon us. And the data that's, that's uh, coming out of there is very useful for these kinds of companies. Um, of course, this is, this is something that insurance companies actually are doing as we speak. This is not something that I've just uh, invented. Uh, I've got lots of examples of insurance companies actually using this kind of data, although there are, of course, many privacy issues uh, involved with this. So it's certainly not an easy kind of strategy, uh, but Let's leave these de detailed issues for now, and I'll just zoom in on how to model this in Archimate. So first of all, we need to address these capabilities that Archimate needs. So it's, it's a new strategy modeled as a course of action in Archimate. And if you look at the symbol, it's an arrow towards a, a goal. So that's the course of action symbol. And it needs the capabilities to realize these two outcomes of improved customer satisfaction and competitive premium setting. And those are capabilities it didn't have already. So these are really new. So on the one hand, for customer care, it wants to really move to, to this digital customer management and manage these digital channels as part of that. 
And uh, the other part of, of it is that they want to become this data-driven insurance company that harvests data from all different kinds of sources and analyzes the, the, the data to come up with more competitive premiums. If we then plot that on um, the existing capability map of Arc Assurance, we see that it's going to be extended in this area. The customer care and the claim management capabilities need to be extended with these new capabilities. Uh, that's what I see as important parts of the strategy. And then, of course, the next step is to identify how these capabilities might be realized. So then you get to pictures like these. We have uh, these uh, three sub-capabilities that we saw on the previous picture. And then there are some resources needed for that. Of course, this picture is quite simplified. You will need more and more. You will need, need other resources as well. But uh, on the left hand, you see, for example, for this digital channel management, you need social media competency and you need social media apps. Well, the competency might be realized by your customer service team. They will have to have the right skills, the right attitude, etc. And the social media apps might, for example, be realized by things like the My Arc Insurance mobile app. And just as, as examples of how you model this realization. So this is where you get into the, let's say, the, the older argument concepts. So the concepts at the bottom of this picture, those are the ones that we already have. And you can re relate them to the higher level, more strategic concepts uh, of resource and capability, which show how they contribute to uh, realizing your strategy. On the right, you see what's needed for the uh, data-driven insurance part of the strategy. So you need to have the right data sources, you need to have the data analysis automation in place, and you need to have the competency to analyze this data. And then we also see where these data sources come from. And that's a concept we'll see uh, uh, in more detail in, in the next few slides. This is called the equipment concept. And here I've modeled the smart connected devices, the Internet of Things stuff, and then you see the other things that we're housing, the existing intelligence team and uh, other companies that utilize these resources. Um, in this picture, it's just a one-to-one -one relationship. Of course, in practice, that need not be one-to-one. -one. You could have many different kinds of social media apps, for example, that together realize this resource. Um, another aspect of uh, these models is that you can very useful, uh, usually relate these assets you have, so all the stuff at the bottom of the previous picture, up towards the outcomes you want to achieve, and create all kinds of nice analyses from that. And this is really an, uh, a dashboard from a real-life situation. You see an analysis of an application portfolio. Um, using the relationships across the model to analyze things like the strategic value of application. Uh, so that's very uh, useful to, to get a more, let's say, fact-based assessment of the situation. Nowadays, uh, you often see that business management ha has to make, let's say, decisions based on gut feeling instead of having the actual data available uh, that you can provide them uh, via these kinds of dashboards. And this is from an example model from a pharmaceutical client of ours sort of scrambled and anonymized, but it's, it's real life data. Uh, 